it's been a long cold winter, but the summer's gonna melt the snow. Listen to the robin singing as the frozen river starts to flow. I promise you I'll be steady. I came to a storm. Right now, it's minus 11 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 22 degrees. Look at what Utah has done to me. I traded my boho hippie overalls for this puffy overalls. It is so cool. I'm out of propane for the RV and I cannot move it. So today I want to install one of those. It's like a propane bypass. They call it stay a while, I believe. Stem broil, <laughs> propane brass tea adapter. The point of that is to be able to use a cylinder for my uh, propane needs and not use my built-in tank because I can't move the mini because the, the mini is stationary now for winter with the skirt around so I cannot move it. Another task that I have never done but another thing to learn right? So this that's the goal for today and my fancy puffy overalls. <laughs> Fashion these days is one of my least concerns. Vamanosh! I am not exaggerating when I tell you that I have been working project after project. I haven't had any time to go and explore and see how beautiful this area is. It's like you got your arms stretched out and you're waiting for the wind to blow. You're standing on the mountain top, but your eyes are on the valley below. I promise you a Steady love, strong enough, it won't cave in. I'll be with you wherever you dare to go until the end. Yeah. I watch a few videos, and all that I need to do is to. I need to pop this wall. <laughs> Maybe I don't need to pop it. It just came off. All right. Wow, this is so old that the plastic is brittle. It just broke off. So I'm gonna remove this cover and see what we reveal. I really only have to loosen up here because once this opens up, I will be able to put in the other bypass valve. Tool. Are we going in the truck? Okay, cool. So we need to go get a tool because I can't loosen up that part and I'm not strong enough. So I'm going to go with my neighbor and get a tool. Yeah. So sometimes you just need the, the strength of a man. I must admit well, it. And a proper tool. And the proper tool. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to give you credit. <laughs> Actually, with this, you would have been able to do it. It was not that difficult. Okay, good to know. Yep. Okay, so now that's it. Oh, so now I need to put this one here. Okay, so that one side is in. It's not totally tight yet because I want to finish with the other side first. And now I need to put this one on here. Okay. Oh, this is a little bit hard because I don't have the space. I have to do it.
So this is the port for the propane hose. to be right here. Everything is super stiff because it's so cold. So this is a, a cylinder attachment or hose and this one is for a barbecue, you know. So now I'm gonna connect this to the cylinder and hopefully everything will be just fine. It got so cold that even the water, the soapy water that I was, I was filming with my phone, which suddenly died. <laughs> I did finish the propane bypass valve installation. Here's my new setup. I made a little cut here. Oh, everything is so frozen, but I don't know you can see anything. But there's the valve and I did check for propane bubbles with soapy water and the soapy water froze. So then I did the smell test and I didn't smell any propane. So I passed the hose under here so I can close this door and then it continues here and onto my cylinder. That is my new setup. And I got that size because the bigger ones are too expensive and they use more room. And I don't have a lot of room to transport more stuff. And when I was working, when I was working on this project, it was five degrees outside. So it made it very, very unpleasant. Right now it's uh, whooping 18 degrees. Woohoo, it's hot, so hot. <laughs> Another project under my belt. But you know what's funny? Well, I think it's funny anyways that as a rookie, sometimes you pay the price of not knowing. Because after doing a little more research, I realized that I didn't really need to buy the bypass valve. Because once you disconnect your propane from the regulator, you can then connect the regulator dire directly into a propane cylinder. <laughs> of course, after the matter, right? But it is not all lost because I did learn something. And to me, that's very, very valuable. Valuable. <laughs> valuable. Valuable? Very valuable. Yes, you know what I mean. But also, what I do like about the valve that I purchased is that it has another connector for an, let's say, outside camper cooker, you know? So you can connect other items to the other port. I like that, I like that. It's okay, it wasn't that expensive, but most important than anything, I learned something new and that counts a lot valuable valuable very valuable and as always thank you so much for watching and please come back for the next one ciao Mwah.